So how do you close the gap between knowing versus the doing? You see, 90% of agents struggle in closing that gap. They know what they need to do, but they're not doing. They're not doing the action. Let's just take, for example, prospecting. You know that you've got to get on the phones for, for example, two hours a day, 10 till 12. You know you have to do it, but you struggle with the doing. Well, here's a little exercise that's helped me make sure that I close what I call the hesitation habit. You see, let's think about you getting up in the morning and you had a goal of getting fit, getting healthy, and you're gonna get up early, let's say 5 a.m. The alarm goes off at five o'clock, and in that small moment when you wake up, you start to talk to yourself. And as you talk to yourself, you start maybe thinking, it's a little bit cold, it's a little bit dark, do I really wanna go and train right now? Maybe I'll go and train this afternoon, and guess what happens, you hit the snooze button. You see, that small opportunity robs you from the joy and happiness that you're looking for in life. It's not the big opportunities, it's those little small opportunities around hesitation habits. Now just imagine for a moment, how can you beat your mind? You see, your mind hates hard work. If we go back to prospecting and you've got the impulse to actually make a phone call and then you've got a goal around that impulse, you've got basically three to seven seconds to beat your mind. If you take longer than seven seconds to make that decision, you start fighting with your mind. And what I mean by that is you start this self-talk in your head about why do I want to get on prospect? Do my clients really want to hear from me today? I'm not in the mood to, to call right now. And your mind actually falls into default mode. Default mode is it likes and prefers to do things that are easy. Same thing going back to waking up in the morning. It doesn't like to get up early. So how are you going to create and beat these hesitation habits? Because you've got to beat them. Is bring the three to seven second rule. So number one, you're going to have an impulse. Number two, is there going to be a goal around what you're trying to achieve with that impulse? Number three, is you've got that three to seven second window of opportunity to fight back against your mind. But here's the fourth element, the most important. It has to have physical movement. So if I was going to get up early in the morning, I would count down and go five, four, three, two, one, throw the blankets out and jump out of bed. That's what you have to do. The same thing with the prospecting session. If your impulse and your goal is to prospect and find a lead or book a market appraisal to find a listing, you've basically got to go five, four, three, two, one, pick up the phone, that's the physical movement, and then start making those calls. Do you see how easy it is to break hesitation habits? Then once you break them, your mind automatically understands and goes, this is what we do. It no longer becomes hard work for the mind. It only becomes hard work for the mind when it's not used to doing something. It likes to go into default mode. In actual fact, studies have been done through Harvard University that we spend 47% of our time in autopilot, meaning that, you know what, our mind has got no direction or what we're doing. Have you ever driven to work and felt like, how did I get here this morning, right? That's being in autopilot. Let's break those hesitation habits, start crushing it and doing it with a three to seven second rule. Did this video serve you? You can do two things. You can go to claudioandcena.com and join my newsletter so you can find some more training tips and videos or join us on our social media platforms so you can continue the journey of growth.